Hello everyone, it's Dr. Parham here, Dr. O, with my last of my five series for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This one is Ductal Carcinoma in situ is not cancer. I'm going to say that again. DCIS is not cancer. Once upon a time in the 1980s, a new technology came along. It was called mammography. It was a great thing because it allowed us to really look in detail at areas of a woman's breast we hadn't been able to see before. And one of the things that doctors found was areas of little tiny calcifications. And when they biopsied those areas and looked with the tools we have to look at pathology, they saw cells that look highly abnormal to them, but in a very special way. Here is a bowl of grapes. I'm going to show you that the breast is a lot like um, grapes on stems. But if you look at it this way, all of these would be lobes of your breasts. And these little stems here are the ducts and they lead down to the nipple. All right. So what they found to make it simpler and just look at this was inside those tiny, tiny, tiny little areas that go down to the tip of your um, nipple in like 20 different places all through your breast, they found some of these areas on the very inside had changes in cells that were highly abnormal. They were not cancer. Over the long run, it's been showed that only 20 to 30 percent of those changes go on to become any kind of cancer. So we have been over treating ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, for 20 years now with women getting radiation therapy, chemotherapy with tamoxifen and recommended that you take it for five years with all the side effects that go along with that. And the change in the actual amount of this situation going on to become a breast cancer has taken it down by about 50% from two or three percent to two percent from six percent chance to three percent chance now what's scary about this is we doctors really don't know which of the cancer which of the women are going to have ductal carcinoma in situ to turn into a cancer problem but in any case it's only 20 to 30 percent of us so for this to be the leading reason that women are being diagnosed these days with breast cancer is simply wrong. It's possibly related to overtreatment and that heroic thing that I talked about that Halstead kind of started us off with breast cancer, with men rescuing us. It's possibly related to business, the way I talked about in the Pink Ribbons Inc. documentary. Whatever it is, we women need to educate ourselves. So I invite you to be an active, engaged, consumer in your own health care, and if you get this horrifying diagnosis that's scaring the hell out of women, take a deep breath and look at some of the information that's available online, which I'm going to post connected to this video. Thank you so much for listening to what I've had to say, and I so appreciate having had a forum to speak on these issues.